Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to continue with our series um, of the villager mod. Um, so yeah, during the villager mod, I uh, added another mod and um, I added a few more mods, which I don't know why they're not working, but we won't need them right now. Anyways. I, uh, iron's actually really good to start your village, so once you have a bit of iron, and that's really good. Oh no, it's becoming night, night, night. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly run to my base, go to sleep, and wake up. I said in this episode that I was gonna... What is it called? I said I was going to find a village this episode. But finding a village might go to episode till episode 4. I might be thinking that I need to keep it until episode 4. Um, yeah, that would suck if I do. I'll try to get one as soon as possible because this whole series is about trying to get, um, this is about trying to grow a village, this mod, um, is about trying to grow, grow a village, stuff like that, so I want to get to that as soon as possible, um, I got some oak wood with me. I don't, yeah, we have food, torches, uh, tools, and some wood. I think that's good. Yeah. That's good. And there's so much iron here. Like, I think this will last me until I get a miner. Then that'll be good. Okay. I was thinking we need lava, but I don't think we do. Um, I could jump in the water. But while I'm here, I want to collect all the iron I can get. Um, because I want to mine all the iron just so I can get some good tools and get started really. Blip. I'll get started really easily. I thought that fell. Okay, phew, I'm good. I might jump down now, but there's a few bits of coal here. So I'm going to quickly go mine all this. an extra bit of coal will help us with smelting some stuff. Uh, my pickaxe is actually wearing down really fast. Okay. 
yeah, sometimes my computer glitches out and stuff like that. Okay, I really think we don't need to do any more. Um, there's not much iron on the walls. Okay, over there is all cleared except the floor. That's what I want. And then that's near that water. Lag. Only two pieces. Okay. There's some iron up there. Looks like that's good. So I'll start eating over here. Wait a second, guys. It's a rainstorm outside. Anyways, um... Okay, that scared me. iron 17 pieces just from the walls of this ravine is not bad oh my gosh it's like heaven jackpot i'll be back in a second Wow, this is a load of iron just right here. That was just 19 pieces from that one bit. And there's a bit right here. Um, yeah, let's quickly grab this. Okay, 22 pieces, not bad. pieces not bad um so let's quickly grab this i will need a bucket definitely and seven pieces smelted that's not bad that's not bad i can um keep that that'll be good um what can I do with seven pieces? Oh yeah, I wanted to make myself um just a shovel. Because that might be useful. Okay, finally we're on the surface. That took a while just to grab everything from a bit of extra iron so I can just plop down the crafting table and I don't have to smelt. I can just quickly make myself another pickaxe. Because my pickaxe is already running out really fastly. And it's about to get night time so I'm kind of worried.
a mere skeleton. Skeleton. There's some coal there. I mean, that might be useful. This water, all this water should drain. I got the bucket of water, so whenever I'm falling, I can save myself really quickly. I do hear a skeleton. I might just head back to base now because this has been a huge mining trip. Like, well, it's not been a huge mining trip, but I've got like basically the jackpot. Basically. Where's that skeleton? Seriously freaking me out. really good. So much iron in here. Oh no, it's night time. I might just camp here for the night because I got I got my crafting table, I got my furnace. I have basically everything that I need to survive and I got some food. So this is good. I got some iron. I got tools. I could just stay here for the night. Yeah, this could be good. Um, I don't know what to do right now. Yeah. This is bad. Um... I don't know what to do right now, so I guess I'll just wait here. Um, I don't want to record this because I'm not doing anything productive. Um, so I might just, I, I, I might end the video here as like a small short video just because Oh, I got so much iron. I got over... Oh, I thought I had over a stack of iron. Actually, I do, because I have some at home. And then I have the tools. My pickaxe is almost broken, which I use that to mine most of the time. Um, but I can make it one, it's no problem. Um, I don't know what to do right now. I'm basically really stuck here. Yeah, I'm really stuck here. Here we go. Um, I'm just gonna smelt some of this cobblestone because you never know when you need smooth stone. Um, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna probably end it here. I know some of you are like, please don't end it, because I only, well, lately I've been uploading once a week. I used to do daily, but now it's just been lately once a week. And so you guys are like, no, stay, but I really don't think I can do much, so if you just want to watch me do nothing, and you like watching that, then good for you, but... Um, I guess while I'm here, I could talk to you guys about the villager mod. Um, so, when I find a village, 
I'm going to take their structure marker and take their storage marker and um, I'm going to go to an area, flat area and I'm going to start my own village. I'm not going to use the normal villages that spawn naturally and like build onto those. I'm just going to actual build my own actual village. So I'm going to... Um, so, um, about the villagers, there is a, there's farmers, which I'm probably, I start with 18 emeralds. I have that back at the house, remember? And, yeah. So I start with 18 emeralds, and I buy stuff from the tradesman and architect to get started. Every day the merchant comes with trades, and it depends what villagers you have, there will be more trades. Now, let's say I have a nomad. Uh, let's say I have a farmer. Let's say, like, I only have, like, three villagers. More nomads will spawn. Let's say I have, like, 50. There's a chance that one nomad will spawn every three days. Depends how many villagers you have. Let's say, well, like, I, I, I just started. I have one villager. Like, three nomads will spawn per day. Um, let's say I have 50 villagers. Um, only one nomad will spawn every three days um, because when you're at that level you get hearts that float above beds and you collect those hearts and you can right click a unclaimed bed which I'll get to that in a minute and it will make a child making that bed claimed and then when the child grows up it will uh, it will be kind of like a nomad, except it's not a traveler. Uh, when a child grows up, it will just be a neutral person in your village. A citizen, really. Just a citizen. And, uh, yeah, just a citizen walk around and eat your food. If you don't assign it to a job, it will just eat up all your food, and then that's really it. So, um... So you must buy um, a profession token and like right click it to assign it to a job before it starts eating all your food and it's not going to do any job. Um, it also, also there's, um, um, there's also the architect. Would you buy stuff from him to um, create structures and stuff like that? Because the architect creates structures and stuff. So you um, use emeralds to buy structures from him. And you put an item frame. Then put the structure token in the item frame. And then put a door right beside the item frame. And then it leads into your house. The house has to be at least two blocks high. And I'm pretty sure three. And it has to be a three by three, by three wide. Um, sorry, three by three length and width, I'm pretty sure, um, but it to be a valid thing, the structure token will light up like an enchantment thing in the item frame if it's valid, if it's not valid then it will just, it won't light up like enchantment and that means your village will not work, or that's if the town hall doesn't work. But let's say one structure doesn't work. That means the house is not valid. It doesn't work. The house doesn't have a roof. Or there's no door. So if, if you're playing on hard mode and zombies break down your doors to get to villagers. And um, when the zombies break down your doors, um, they don't become valid and your villagers disappear. I'm sorry about that. But I'm playing, I'm pretty sure I'm playing on easy. Um, I'm playing on normal. Now if you play on hard, y yeah, you're basically never going to create a village. Normal's not, like, normal is basically the highest difficulty um, if you want to create a village. Unless, unless you just want, like, a peaceful village, you could go on peaceful. Um, anyways, yeah, so what you do is you can get a farmer they'll collect wheat and potatoes so you make a square uh, there's no structure token for farms so you gotta make a square and um, you got to uh, make a square put um, blocks around the square like except grass or dirt except things that can be farmed 
you got to put a block around the square. Any block of your choice except for farming, except for um, grass and dirt or farmland. Um, place any block you want. And then, and then, um, hoe some ground. Host some ground, not all the not all the ground square. Host some ground. Place place the thing you want them to place in that square. So let's say I place wheat in a square. They will plant wheat there. Let's say I put potatoes in a different square. They will only put potatoes there. Um, so yeah, put what you want them to. Um, let's uh, put what they want to grow so they like, put seeds farm a little land put seeds put water in the middle and they will start farming that land and taking care of that land um, so that's basically the farmer the farmer is the only kind of technical one because it doesn't have a structure token um, the druid and the cleric on the other hand they don't need structures um, most things most um villagers do but the farmer cleric and druid don't need structures they just need homes so um a cleric will heal villagers that have been injured very fastly and a druid will um help with the environment they're basically magical uh, natural um, characters so let's say um, a mine has been mined out a druid would go there use its magic and um, it will uh, and the mine will fill back up with ores and and stone from what the druid did the same uh, it's kind of same with the cleric the cleric has magic powers I'm not sure if the druid can grow trees for the lumberjack um, that should be a thing if it does, um, but if it does, that would be cool. Um, yeah, that should be a thing, maybe. Um, I should probably, uh, agree that to the, uh, creators. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to, uh, show you, tell you guys. Now, I'm just gonna quickly see what time it is. Wait, is it daytime? Oh, <laughs> it is. Now, I want to see how much time we have left, because I'm on a timer. You guys, it looks like we're out of time. It's been like 23 minutes now. Uh, this video was 21 minutes, so yeah. Looks like we're out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I um, hopefully try to find a village. Uh, try to find a village in the next in the next uh, three or four episodes. I'll try to find one. Um, I might find one off camera. It depends what you guys want, but... I'll just find I'll just find one anyways. Um maybe on camera, off camera. I don't I don't know what you guys want, but adventures are always fun in videos. Um so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did, like if you did, and um yeah, subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see more of this series and um you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And uh, yeah, so guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.